Let's put on the armor of God together. We're going to Ephesians 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God. Why? So that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Hear that. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against each other. But against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand, again that word stand, stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, be alert. And always, always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray for each other and let's pray for each other right now. In the name of Jesus, I ask, Lord, that you would remind us of every piece of armor that you have made available to us through your willing sacrifice on the cross and your resurrection power. You, our Redeemer, gave us what we need to fight the evil one because you took back the keys of death. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for anyone here who doesn't know you. Let them know that by faith they can be redeemed in you in Jesus' name. And brothers and sisters in Christ, pray for one another and put on that full armor of God. And again, stand, stand, stand.